To start with, I select the entire wing component and I drill down using Edit Component until I get to the place where I can hide all of the wing, the port wing, except for the control surfaces. Then I position the aileron so that I can uh, create the guideline with the tape measure. And I position it where I have set up some crosshairs on one of the holes and then use the outer aileron pivot point for the second point and create the guideline. Then I select the entire aileron component and I open the um, change axis and try as best I can to position the axis on the guideline. I try to put it about in the middle laterally between the outer and the inner pivot points. Now those pivot points of course are not the actual pivot points that are in the animation. They are just in the, in the model. And I, I move the, uh, the red axis as best I can to line up with the tape measure line. Next I open to see if in fact it's where it should be and it looks like it's right where I put it. I did it a second time just to make sure I didn't accidentally move it the first time when I opened it and it still is there so it looks okay. I select the component again, and open animation, and already has the data ref in the, in the box. Slide it over, try to get it in a good position so that I can set up the rotation. Finally, I have it pretty much where I want it. So I open up the uh, rotation tool and line that up with the uh, guideline from the tape measure. And I hit set. And I rotate it a little bit and then I type in 20 to get a rotation of 20 degrees. I type that in, hit enter, it does that, it moves it that far, I hit set again now I hit reset and I can see it goes back and I test it and I see that it is working there. Next I unhide the wing part that I had hidden and close everything and I now have the wing ready to export. Next you see the airplane and it's a full left and a full right movement of the stick. And you see that the aileron is both detached and is making several turns.